This is Milo Page, and I'll be introducing some great new features in the multiple variables table in PRISM 9. These include categorical and label variable types, bubble plots and other new graph formatting options, and some new tools for data cleaning and exploration. I'll start by opening the multiple linear regression demo data with categorical variables. This uses the multiple variable data table. Columns are variables, and rows are observations. You can now enter over a thousand columns of data if needed. Notice the new gray bar that specifies data type. Each column of data is identified as categorical, continuous, or label. Categorical data is data that has specific levels and is often text, such as male and female, or car, bicycle, and truck. Continuous data are your standard numeric data. Most numbers will be entered in this format unless the numbers represent bins or ID numbers. Label data are used as identifiers for your rows of data, for graphing or data organization. When entering a new column of data such as eye color, PRISM will make an educated guess as to the data type. I'll just type in a few rows of data and I'll intentionally add a typo. Here PRISM has identified it as categorical. Notice the gray image which indicates that it was automatically determined. I'll confirm the data type as categorical. You can select the variable type for each column one by one, or you can click View All Variables, where you can easily edit the types for each column in one menu. If I select the new eye color column, it's now easy to see the typo. I can easily correct that here. I could also use this feature to recode a variable from, say, M to male. I'll click OK, and the typo has now been corrected. I'll delete this column for the next steps. Categorical variables are useful for statistical modeling, including multiple linear or logistic regression and PCA. For example, if I click the button to run a multiple linear regression, there's a new tab called Reference Level. With this, I can select which level of the categorical variable to use as the reference. I'll leave it as the default. PRISM has done indicator coding behind the scenes, so assuming all the other covariates in the model stay the same, there's a slight decrease in hemoglobin for males. Another useful feature of categorical variables is with graphs. To demonstrate, I'll create a new graph. We now have bubble plots available in PRISM. I'll select sex as the color and age as the bubble size. These graphics on multiple variables tables are very flexible. If I still want to make some adjustments, I can click on the Format Graph icon from the menu. Here are a variety of settings to adjust. You can easily change the variables that are used for plotting the X and Y axes, the symbol color, and the symbol size. Additionally, there are options for customizing the legend and labeling the points on the plot with ID numbers or names. I think sizing by age makes the plot look busy in this case, so I'll remove that. Notice that if I click Apply, the graph updates without closing the menu. This makes it easy to look at different plots and figure out the best way to present your data. It's worth noting that you can size by categorical data as well as continuous. If I look at the fill color, I can easily adjust how the levels are covered, but I'll select to color the points by age. Since it's a continuous variable, PRISM outputs a color gradient instead of discrete color levels. There are several easy-to-use customization options with the gradient as well. I'm happy with what I've selected so far, so I'll click OK. I've touched on a few of the new features in multiple variables tables, and as you can see, there are a lot of them. We hope these help simplify the process of data entry, cleaning, modeling, and graphing.